time for another quick tip. This time about weapons and uh, how hard you hit with them. Getting hit with a lab weapon hurts. It may be foam, but it's not a pillow. Uh, yeah, well, lab weapons, yeah, well, they're made out of foam, they're not pillows. And yes, they do hurt. And it is really something that we need to think about when we are fighting with lab weapons, that we don't hurt each other with fighting with them. That's why they're made out of foam. They might be soft and everything, but they still can hurt each other with them. Even though that these weapons that are made out of foam today probably are a little softer than the olden times LARP weapons back in the day. I've heard stories that it used pretty much just sticks and rocks. So the olden time LARPers would probably call us a little weak for saying that these are hard to be hit with, but they can still hurt. And I've seen plenty of people bleed getting hit with one of these. That's not to mention, well, they are of course safe, but just like any other type of stick or thing you're fighting with, you can get hit pretty hard and get hit so you hurt. Even with toy weapons, this can happen. Now, there are many types of weapons. You have the buffer weapon, which a lot of people swear to are the most soft weapon that you can have because you make it yourself, so you clearly know how soft it is and you use duct tape so it doesn't have a hard surface and everything. But if that weapon is not made correctly, it can be some of the most dangerous and hard LARP weapons that you can actually have. I mean, I've been heard stories about people that used steel rods as cores and and bolts, iron bolts, to, to create weight in the weapon. And that seems a little extreme to me and might be a little too much. And then you have the latex weapons and the foam weapons, which are usually the ones that are getting accused of being a little too hard, especially uh, foam weapons, hardened foam weapons like uh, Kalimacil. And weapons like Kalimacil are usually a little heavier in the foam, also latex weapon, because latex do make the weapon a little more heavy. They are a little heavier, so people have a tendency to hit a little harder with them because they are, well, heavier. Which leads me on to the next thing. It's usually not the weapons that are too hard, it's usually the people that fight with them that hit too hard or fight like out of control or maybe they hit some areas that uh, are a little more soft than others. They hurt a lot more. And if you encounter somebody who fights with a weapon and they don't know that they're hitting too hard, let them know that maybe they should slow down their fighting abilities. They're not as awesome as they might think. Slow it down, people. Get control of your weapons. We all know that if you hit somebody in the groin or the face or let's say you hit them in the arm too hard, well, you, you, you just you back away and make sure the people are alright, right? But what if you want to play on it? I mean, I'm a guy who wants to play when I get hit like, ow! I, I mean, I scream, I say, ow, oh, I'm bleeding, stuff like that. And pe if people are not used to this, they tend to get really like, oh my god, did I just, uh, are you okay? They stopped the game for this. And and if they're not used to it, I, I usually just go, yeah, I'm all right, I'm all right. Yeah, let's continue, like, brush it off. But if people are really hitting too hard, you should go out, like, you, you should try to, like, back away and, and stuff. I personally, I try to make it, uh, like, people know that, like, this is not a character thing, this is not a laugh thing. You are really hitting too hard. You are, you are really killing these people. Like, for real. So, slow down your hits. Or, don't hit that hard. Don't get too eager in the battlefield. But what are your thoughts about this? You can also turn this around and say, is it okay to hit too hard? Or, in which cases is it okay to hit too hard? Something like big monsters or people in armor and stuff like that. Like big foam monsters or paladins in huge armor, plate armor, stuff like that. They usually seem really overpowered and don't really take notice when you hit them. But, a lot of times it's actually because they can't feel when you're hitting them. So maybe you should hit them a little harder? I don't know. Be, be sure to let me know what you think about this in the comment section or... Yeah, let the discussion flow, so to speak. Anyway, be sure to be safe around lab weapons. Even though they're made out of foam, they can still hurt. If you have any tricks and tips or anything like that, a lot of advices, be sure to leave them also down in the comment section below. And then it's probably gonna end up in a video here at some point somewhere on this channel. So we can spread our lab advices to other lappers out there. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye.